Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a program that basically just slides open in VB6. And then if you look at part 2, I'll show you how to make it where it slides open by the push of a button. And I guess I'll explain what I mean in that video if you guys want to go watch the part 2. So let's just name this test. And what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to put a bunch of random crap, make this look real. Um, yeah, there we go, I guess. This is pretty much good enough. I don't really know what to put. <laughs> put a bunch of random stuff. Anyways, and then let's just put timers. And timers don't show up, so you don't really have to like hide them or anything but usually I do like make it where it slides open only to here not all the way out and um so anyways let's get on with it you need two timers or only one if you only want to make it where it slides the one way like it's already open this much and it just slides open like that or you can just put one if you just want it to slide down like it opens and just slides down that's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to be doing it to where it starts as basically like barely anything and it slides both ways and opens both ways. Anyways, so how we're going to do this is I'll just put the code in the description. You can copy and paste it, whatever. I don't care. But get the width of the width, whatever, of what you want it to open to. So I'm just going to have this open to that like that far out anyways ha put it where you want it just set it however you want it scroll down in the properties and then go to go to oh God, go to width copy and paste the width that it's at and then click on one of the timers and you wanna go to interval and make that one double click the timer and then you'll have the thing for the timer okay type me dot width space equals space me dot with and then this is going to be the speed I usually use 35 because it's like the perfect speed but yeah and then space plus space 35 enter and then if with with you know what I know if I fail at pronouncing that then don't leave a comment on that thank you anyways if with equals oh actually before that put a little bracket thingy if width equals and then paste the width that you copied and then then enter timer one dot enabled equals false and if and so yeah let's test it out when it loads up it's gonna load like that and slide open This might be a little laggy because I'm using Hypercam to record, but it might be a little laggy, but it'll slide open really smoothly when you open it. So, anyways, so after we have that, let's make it slide downward too. How we do that is put it where you want it, like the the height that you want it at, and then scroll down in the properties and go to height, copy that. And then go to timer 2. Oh yeah, make the interval 1. Timer 2. And then me dot. And then this time it's going to be height, of course. Me dot height equals me dot height. And then plus 35 again. Or whatever you want to put it, I don't really care. If height equals and then, oh, wow, I always forget to put that. I don't know why. And then, paste the height. Paste the height. It's going to be the same as this, basically. Then, timer. 2 dot enabled equals false. And if. And, yeah, it's basically like uh, this one up here. 
but it's just you replace it with height and timer too. That's the only difference. Anyway, so let's test it now. Let's make this small. When we open it, slides open. So if you have a cool program or something that you made and you want it to just slide open just for the heck of it, make it look even cooler, then yeah, you can do this. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to look at part two for even cooler things you can do.